Here we are, Toronto on the waterfront. You must have run this path many, many times. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty much any time I'm down here in Toronto. It's the one place I know I won't get lost in Toronto. <laughs> I imagine as a, I, mean, I know as a runner, it's just a lot of time alone. As an yeah. endurance athlete, as any athlete, but in this case, very much particularly alone. Uh, how, how, is that the same experience for you? Yeah, um, I tend to, I've discovered as I'm getting more and more into my training, I spend a lot of time, a lot of landing time, a lot of time by myself. I get kind of sick of myself <laughs> sometimes. Uh, it's great if I have a lot on my plate, I can, you know, I'm out for two hours, I can think. Uh, but then I find that when I get home or when I get back to my apartment and my roommate's there, like, and I'm like hungry for somebody to talk to me and hang out with me. Re-engage, share energy, yeah. not just participate in self, but mm -hmm. give to others, of course, yeah. Like for myself, I finally realized, like, wait a minute, I need this time to process for yeah. myself. I used to think it was about training. That must have, did that happen for you? Yeah, you must have? Uh, well, I grew up, I'm one of seven kids, so there wasn't a lot of time to myself growing cool. up. Um, it was more when I got into university and I finally had my own space and was in my dorm room and uh, would spend lots of time with my teammates but then found I always needed to kind of, after a race or even leading up to the race, kind of needed, you know, an hour or two just on my own, f focus for the race and then reevaluate and evaluate what happened in the race. A time to process, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I'm a really outgoing person and like I said, after a run or after I've spent a lot of time by myself, I, I want to engage and I want to be with people. But then I need to recharge. Like I can only, I guess I'm an extrovert to an extent, and then I'm a complete introvert. So you get one or the other with me. Um, and I do find in the game scenario in Glasgow last year, at Commonwealth Games even, I was getting a little bit overwhelmed. There's, you're in a, I was in a room with three other girls. There was kind of constantly people and always people. So it got to where I wouldn't necessarily, I'd go to the cafeteria on the off hours when there would be fewer people just so I could have time space time to myself um, for that I was doing the marathon and I needed a lot of prep time and a, a lot of time to kind of evaluate how I was feeling and what my game plan would be for the race we come to games and and we are getting we, we're put on the spot what's your intention here what are you doing here the anthem I said it um, too like my intention is to hear the anthem but it's not just about that it's about the process it's about it's all about process it's not about anything else so what else is in your process for these games I want to represent Canada. I mean, there's girls that I'm competing against that I train, like there's Americans that I train with and I've competed against on the roads and local road races, but it's different putting the maple leaf on and lining up. Um, and yeah, of course, I, I want to win. You don't line up. I never line up expecting to win. I've done the work that I think I could win and I can win, um, but I don't ever want to devalue the work my competitors have put in. Um, but I'd love to hear the anthem, but if I don't, I still want to represent Canada as, as best as I can. So great that the first thing you said is we. Mm -hmm. You didn't, it's, that's the, what's the world's shortest poem, Muhammad Ali, <laughs> me, we. You said we first. That's it's whether people say me or we first. Mm -hmm. You just said we first. I'm a big fan. <laughs>